Morning everybody, uh, Gary Porter again. Just want to take you through uh, some of the things I've been working on. Now what we've got here is a little DC motor and a little spark gap right in the middle here. I've got to do the, all the adjustments on it and grind it down a little bit and make it so it's going to work good. But uh, I've got some clamps on here because I've got some wood and the uh, spark gap goes across here. Uh, no magnets involved. Uh, since I want to vary the DC motor, I made up a uh, a little uh, thing with potential, a little var uh, variable resistor, which is nothing but a coil, about 22 ohm coil, and I got taps into the coil. They go down to like 2.9 ohms. This will change the resistance uh, going between the battery and the, and the little DC motor. Uh, the third item is uh, my head gray tube, which has uh, been quite an interesting process. I think that's a plexiglass, and uh, inside the tube there are some uh, screen grids, two of them. Uh, there's an anode and a spark gap in the middle. A couple of microwave diodes for each of the two grids going out will go into capacitors to store the DC energy. And um, my goal here is I need the three energy levels, so I may have different grids for three different levels for my platform. And uh, I don't know. I may have three tubes. I haven't got a clue. But anyway, we're gaining. And, uh, very soon we'll know. I've been reading and reading and reading and reading te all the Tesla patents and uh, everything I can get on Tesla in books. Gone through all my old books and uh, I, I believe I'm very close to the point where I can actually design an energy system that runs itself and puts out some serious power. And uh, just in a small box. So that's the goal. Anyway, let me uh, zoom around here. And uh, take you over here for a second. Uh, this is where the stuff's going to mount into my original copper tubing test. I tore that apart. I'm going to use the same battery and uh, uh, dump the energy from the tube into the into the second battery over there. And uh, the two larger caps dead ahead are uh, oh, I think they're like two microfarad, uh, 5,000 volts or something. And uh, that's going to run the spark gap uh, from the diode, microwave diodes. I'll go into uh, these two caps over here, right in this area. And uh, once I get the three energy levels going, then we'll go back to the original uh, platform with the toroid coils on it. There's 20 of those. And then down in that wooden box in the bottoms where the PC board is and all the original stuff I showed you earlier. But anyway, uh, if this all works, then I'm going to get back on my on my energy motor over there and finish that up. The only thing remaining on that motor is to bat, is to collect. I got the PC board done for gathering the energy and feeding it back to the battery. And once I get that working, and if I can use some large ferret caps and uh, eliminate the battery, that'll be pretty interesting. It'll be a self-running motor, and uh, and it's got an 18-inch uh, diameter rotor in it, so that thing's got some torque. And, uh, and like Tesla said, you can have this thing running just a just a say a 5,000 watt generator, no load on it, and it'll certainly spin that. I need more RPMs, of course, but uh, that's what this system up here is. This is a Don Smith system that's already up and running. I just sort of stolen parts off of it to do these other projects. But uh, we're gaining, by God. We're getting closer. And uh, have a nice day.